What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Welcome to our first peg hunting video in a long time. I know it's just been too long. It's because of the whole pandemic that's going on. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get out and do any peg hunting, but today's the day. The numbers in my area are quite low, so I'm feeling quite comfortable to get out and do some peg hunting. I do have myself prepared. I've got my black mask, which I'm going to be putting on my face here. I'll try and put it on right now so you guys can see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, there we go. Okay, having a little bit of a trouble here. There we go. All right, got that over that ear. And uh, I think that's okay. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of wearing masks, but I do understand that it helped prevent the spread of the virus. So I'll do my part and I'll wear my mask once I get into the store there. But let's go ahead and head on inside. I am at Walmart, my local Walmart, and I'm hoping to find something new, something that I haven't seen for a while. And I'm just hoping it's a good day today. The only thing that I have to say is, on my way driving here, I hit a little bit of a pothole. Then as soon as I pulled into the parking lot of Walmart and parked my car on my dash, my little tire pressure monitor, tire pressure low right there just showed up. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to get out of the car and we're gonna have to see if I have a flat tire or not. There we go, so, um, mm, doesn't look too bad, doesn't look very flat. Back of my car looks okay, so, uh, well, let's just hope it's good. All right, guys, I will see you inside for some peg hunting. And we pull up to the aisle here and looks like it's pretty stock, so we got lots of stuff to see today. And we'll start it off with some Hot Wheels three packs. And I recently unboxed some new three packs. There's a few of them here that I have already, but it's always nice to look through and see if we can find any new ones. That nice Corvette Stingray convertible there. And what else do we have? The Indy Oval in that one. And oh, this is some interesting five packs. So we got some sort of beast one. There's a Night Burners pack. And let's see some other packs here. Ooh, looks like a exotics pack right here. Okay, this is a little bit older of a one. It's got the McLaren F1 GTR. You guys know my favorite car. And let's go ahead and see what else we have down here. We've got, oh, what are these super rigs? Okay, this is a new packaging. I haven't seen these before. These are kind of like the track stars trucks, but maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, those are not too bad. There's some interesting ones. I've seen a similar one to this before. I think they just have renamed the track stars super rigs. That just seems to be what it is. All right, let's go ahead and see what else we have here. We've got some matchbox stuff. Ooh, this is a nice one. Matchbox five pack Honda Civic. Ooh, look at this Escalade. Ooh, I might have to pick this one up. Actually, I think I might have bought this before. I'm gonna have to go back and see. We got a Mercedes in here and some sort of tacos truck. City Adventure 2 looks like to be the name of it. And we've got some super fast cars here. We've got some Hot Wheels mystery cars. This is the Mystery Models 2. I have gotten all of these before and I have unboxed them all before. It's an okay set. I think the Corvette, the Viper are kind of the highlights of that set. So if you wanna check those out, you can. Uh, let's see what other super fast cars we have here. This one's pretty neat. It's like a Volvo police car of some sort. We'll throw that back. Let's go ahead and see what we have down here. We've got the Track Builders set. Track Builder Ultimate, this is a boost one. So you can put the boosters on your track if you wanna do that. What do we have down here? We've got a Matchbox 10 pack and a Hot Wheels 10 pack. Let's see what 10 packs we have right here. This one's got a bone shaker. We've got this one right here. It's got a Corvette, uh, nothing too particular. Kia in there, we've seen that before. Ooh, look at this one. Oh my gosh, we've got this one, which has the white McLaren Senna and look at that beautiful. Oh my gosh, I really like that. And check it out also, the Tesla Model 3 in blue. We know that recolor has been coming for a while, so super excited to get that in there. The Jaguar XJ Project 8, there's the Aston Martin 177. What else do we have in these other packs here? There's another one with the Senna. This one's got a bone shaker in the pack, a Firebird, Mercedes A-Class. Wow, we've got some really good cars in some of these 10 packs. I might have to pick a few of those ones up, put those down for a second and see if there's any other good ones back here. And these ones all just to see. They seem to be just some repeats of the previous ones. So we'll go ahead and we'll move on. And moving over here, it looks like we've got the Nissan Premium set. And this is a really cool looking set that I've wanted to get my hands on, but I mean, at $39.97, as you guys can see, that's a little bit expensive, but it's kind of a cool looking showcase set. So we'll have a look on the back and see what's included. We've got a Datsun 510, Fairlady Z, 
Nissan Laurel, the Aerolift, so not a bad set. I mean, four cars for 40 bucks premium, it's a little bit much. We'll move on to some more track builders. This one is a boost loop one. Then we've got a curve set, which is pretty neat. That would be cool for some little curve races. We're gonna have to do that in the future. There's another loop set. And what else do we have? We've got the, this is a, a track folder. So this is kind of like a folding track, which is kind of interesting. It looks like there's a couple more of those all behind here as well. So let's move on, see what else we can find. We've got a Garage of Legends. This is the Hot Wheels Boulevard set, the 2018 Copo Camaro SS. And this one, it does have that Koenigsegg Agera R in it. So there's lots of good cars in this one. The Koenigsegg, obviously the most popular one, but as you can see right here, the pegs are just empty there's not many cars left in that set moving on to a stars and stripe series and this one's got quite a few different uh, american stars and stripe sets which up here in canada where i'm doing my peg hunting we don't really get the american stars and stripes one so it's kind of interesting to see these ones on the shelf and they're pretty interesting i like the colors i mean the red white and blue i mean it is pretty patriotic but being a canadian it's not really one that i want to collect personally but for all of my american friends i'm sure you guys would love this little set and i'm sure it's very very popular so lots of cars from that set are on the pegs there for anyone else to pick up We've got some color shifters some matchbox cars. Oh look at these Disney ones. There we go We got the beast from Beauty and the Beast and this one is a series 3 set So it's a little bit older it doesn't even show any of them on the back and lots of Dumbos all there Nobody likes the Dumbos. There's a bunch of them on the pegs there for you guys. Uh, we got some matchbox here Let's see if we can see anything interesting. I'm still looking for that uh, Bugatti Devo in matchbox How about this Dodge Charger? That's a pretty cool looking color Nice looking casting. I mean, I think I have this one in a few other different colors. We'll leave it on the pegs for now. There's some more of those Dodge Chargers. We got a Mini Cooper and nothing else of too much interest. We'll pass on those and check out these 20 packs. Oh, we got the Ford GT. We've got the, what's the Audi RS5 Coupe right there? The Panamera uh, Sport Turismo, a Bone Shaker, McLaren P1. There's a Lamborghini Gallardo, Acura NSX. Lots of good ones in that set. Uh, we got a lot of these other ones that kind of just looks like the same mixture. There's more of the four GTs in there, a couple other mixture of other cars that are in there. That Corvette is pretty cool. Looks like that Gas Monkey Garage Corvette. We'll pass on those. We'll have a quick look through to see if there's anything else in here. Nothing much of interest. So we'll go down. We got some more of them down here. Lots of them, but they all look like the same batch of that they all have the ford gt in them so we'll just pass on those right now let's go see what else we can see right here what is this this is kind of some sort of uh mega car wash and it is a color shifters car wash that's pretty neat i don't know at least seems like a bit much 45 bucks we'll pass on those what else we have here adventure force there's a nice lamborghini huracan in there i don't really collect those adventure force stuff and let's see what else we have here look at these trucks another adventure force truck this one is a falcon tire sponsored one so that's actually pretty cool i haven't seen any of those before what other ones do we have we got this one which has some sort of fm on there pretty nice looking truck some sort of tanker and look at this look at all these monster trucks monster jam and monster truck lots of different options for those i have stopped collecting these just because there's just too many and i can't keep up with them so i've kind of stopped my collection of monster trucks but lots of good stuff if you still like them lots of options and what do we have here we got some fast and furious cars there's the supra we got the charger on there. Let's see what do we have on the back. There's lots of good cars included in this one. There's the Lycan Hypersport, all the GTR, the RX-7, lots of different options on there. Let's see what we have in here, if we can find any good ones. That's really cool, I like the big wing on that one. What do we have down here? There's the Mitsubishi. There's just too many of them. Not really much that I'm going to collect, so I'll pass on those for now. What do we have up here? We got some different options for different cars. Here we got the Tamika Walmart Edition cars. I've gotten most of the first few series of those, but we'll pass on those for now. Some M2 stuff, and I don't know really much about the M2 cars. 70 Ford Mustang Mach 1. I like that, and that's pretty neat. We'll pass on that. We'll move on. Some cars stuff. We've got, what is this? Ooh, check this out right here. Lamborghini Aventador in yellow. Okay, you guys know how much I love yellow. I normally don't collect 1 in 24 scale size cars, but 
This one being an exotic a Lamborghini in yellow, I might just have to pick this one up from Maisto, an exotic set. So we'll put that aside for a second. We'll see what else we have in here. Any other good ones in here? Just a couple of muscle cars in here. Nothing really that I'll collect. Uh, this is a 2009 Corvette, an RC car. Nothing really of my interest. We'll move on and see what else we can find. Uh, nothing here. We'll switch over to the other side of the aisle. There seems to be just a lot of like RC type cars. Ooh, what is this here? We got the Nissan GTR, the Skyline from Fast and Furious. And check this out. What are these? These are some RC ones with a Veneno. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got a Corvette ZR1. That is nice. I really like that RC Corvette ZR1. And there's the Veneno, the one that's pictured on the box right there. One in 26 scale RCs. 1297 is not bad for those. And what? Oh, check this one out. We got the Corvette C8 RC car. Wow, this one looks fairly detailed. Lots of stuff in here. You can press on this. $59.97. It's pretty expensive. I don't know exactly what it all does, but that's actually pretty good looking. The detail on that is really, really nice. App driver. So I wonder if there, there must be an app that you hook it up to your phone. Ducati here. We got this little Ducati racer. I've seen those before. Some bigger monster trucks. Uh, we got some other cars up here, like in Hypersport right there. There we go. Nothing much as far as detail goes, so we'll pass on those. We'll go down and see what else we have. We got another Ducati. This one looks really big. What is this that kind of stands up? That's kind of interesting. All right, let's go ahead and see what else we can find down the aisle. Any other cars here? There's a couple other Hot Wheels. Ooh, what is... What? Another Corvette C8 RC car, and this one's a 1N64 one scale, 997 Corvette C8. That's actually really cool looking. I kind of like that pretty neat the lights light up on it there's a mustang on the set so there it is okay here we go we got the mustang for the set mustang gt and there's both of them kind of interesting 997 but i mean adventure force will probably pass on those no nothing much right here let's just head on over to the checkout and then we'll head to the car all right guys walking back to the car i've got my bag full of stuff so we'll go over in a second what i picked up but first let's see if i do have a flat tire or not i'm gonna flip the camera around here so you guys can see Okay, tire looks okay. I know my car is really dirty. Sorry about that. Everything looks okay, so hopefully we'll be able to get home. Let's go pop into the car and I'll show you guys what I got. Let's go ahead and go over what I picked up today in my peg hunting trip. So first thing that I did get was that yellow Lamborghini Aventador. I just really, really liked it. And I think I just want to display it like above my computer. You guys know how much I love the color yellow and I love all exotics. So the Lamborghini Aventador, such a cool looking one. We'll open the doors up. We'll display it right next to my computer while I do some editing on the video there. This happened to be $19.99, which I did find to be a little bit expensive. I almost put it back when I was checking out, but I was like, you know what? No, I'll just pick it up because there is normally you can get at Costco the one in 18 scale so the bigger scale than this for like 14.97 or 14.99 so i thought this was a bit expensive but because i like the car so much i decided to go ahead and keep that one so we got that one and then i did pick up a couple of other things here of course we picked up the hot wheels 10 pack which includes the mclaren senna there we go that white mclaren senna as well as that blue tesla model s plus other couple of good cars in there the aston martin 177 the jaguar uh project 8 and uh, a couple other cool ones there so that was pretty cool we were lucky enough to find that pack then i also did pick up the other pack that included the McLaren Senate in there. And this one also came with, uh, this is a Dodge Charger Challenger right there as well. And uh, the A-Class Mercedes, a nice bone shaker, the Corvette, uh, NSX, stuff like that. So we got a couple of good cars in that one. So we'll be, we'll be opening those ones up in a future video. And then I also got myself, got myself a Twix bar, you know, gotta, gotta get a, a nice candy bar. It's been so long since I've had a nice candy bar. So we picked up one of those. Grand total that we spent today, $48.03, so uh, a little bit much than I wanted to spend. I mean, just the fact that we only got uh, two 10 packs and one model car plus my little chocolate bar, it's not a lot for the $48, but you know what? It was fun to do some peg hunting videos and hopefully we can do some more in the future. I'm gonna try my best to go around to maybe a couple other stores in the next week or so. And if they have some good stuff in there, we'll film a nice peg hunting video for you guys. But thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, guys. I appreciate it. Now, you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.